received this envelope that's from the Commonwealth of Virginia Department of the Treasury. And I looked at it and I thought, well, whatever this is can't be good news. Never did this woman think the Virginia Department of Treasury would send her a check. I was a little skeptical at first because I think we all grow up thinking that if something seems too good to be true, then it more than likely probably is. She said stocks issued to her more than 20 years ago and an old deposit of hers had been turned over to the state. We want to reach any adult that's ever had a Virginia address, and we want to help them get back their unclaimed property that may be in our system, especially during these times when every dollar can help. State officials say consumer protection laws require businesses to turn unclaimed property or funds over to the state, things like bonds, insurance proceeds, utility deposits, or stocks. The state then holds on to the property until it can be turned over to the rightful owner or heir. News 3 previously took a tour of their vault in Richmond where some of the property is kept. Normally, they hold in-person events to try to reunite people with funds, but COVID is preventing that. We really wanted to make sure that we did not miss a beat in getting our important message out to our citizens and assisting them during these really challenging times. So they created a new way to reach people. We quickly implemented new technology that actually allows us to run virtual call events. Companies or organizations can team up with them to hold a virtual event. Employees or members of the group can be part of a virtual call center and help reunite people with their cash. Honestly, that's a ton of money in there that's just sitting that belongs to folks in our state. If you want more information or if you want to search your name, go to our website, WTKR.com. We have a link set up for you there. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.